Hi everyone, Comic Reviewer here, and this time reviewing on Justice League issue number 31, New 52 Comic Review. Now, as you know, issue 31 is meant to feature the first full appearance of Jessica Cruz. And the cover has her wielding her power ring, while Lex Luthor and the others look on to try and stop her. And it starts off with the ring saying, Jessica Cruz of Earth, you have been chosen to annihilate this world. I heard you the first time. Sounds great. What are you doing, Jessica? And you can tell that the ring's trying to play on her emotions as she lost her friends due to an incident in the woods. And tries to use a gun on the ring. And the ring says... Oh, Jessica, this could have been much less painful for you, my puppet. And so it pretty much goes on to Jessica, and you have Bruce Wayne and Lex Luthor talking, with Bruce Wayne saying that he's not Batman, but Lex Luthor has figured out that he knows he's Batman, and has all the pieces put together. And points out that it's, you know, about a partnership and that. And even points out that whatever destroyed the crime syndicate's Earth could come any day, any second, and any minute. And Lex saying, and if you and I aren't united, Earth is doomed. <laughs> All this, even the world business has done wonders for you, sense of humble, I'll give you that. As much as I'd love to stay here and drink, I'll take credit for Gotham's Dark Knight. I have tickets to the opera. So, pretty much Lex gets a gun out, and just as Alfred gets his gun out to protect Bruce Wayne, he realises where the draft's coming from, and shoots down the clock, revealing where the Batcave is. And pretty much says, so let's start this conversation over. And so you have Shazam pretty much talking with Cyborg, and then bonding in that. And even Shazam uses his magic to summon up a ping pong table. And Shazam says, we might as well play since it's here. And so you've got Captain Cold heading off to, to LexCorp. And also meets the new 52 version of Mercy, who's meant to be based on the Batman vs. Superman version. So just as he goes in, everyone recognises who he is, and takes pictures with him. And pretty much they take samples of his blood in that. And we even have Lex Luthor wanting to join the Justice League. And, you know, wants to be ready for it. So, pretty much, Batman tells him the story of the frog and the scorpion, and pretty much, just as he's about to say the story, he says, Because it's in my nature, I know the story. And Batman said, and Bruce says, I have a different version of the story. Halfway across the river, just as the scorpion's about to sting the frog, a bat flies by and rips the scorpion into the sky. Obviously referring to Bruce himself as a scorpion, I mean the bat, Lex as the scorpion, and the Just League as the frog, and says that it's not going to happen, and wants him to get out of his house. <laughs> so just then, Bruce Wayne gets a call from Superman Wonder Woman, and gets ready to meet them there, due to an incident that's happened. And they found out that Power Ring's ring has gone to Jessica Cruz. That's causing all sorts of chaos. And Lizzie says she needs help. She's meet with the new 52 version of the Doom Patrol. That says, the Doom Patrol is here to help. Now take her down. And yeah, this is the story. So, issue 31 isn't too bad. I think, yeah, it does build up to something with Jessica Cruz, and I feel we could have had 
more of a story centered around her for this issue, but I get it, they're trying to build up to expense. So the issue deserves a thumbs up. Still good, and still alright. So, comic reviewer here, signing out.